One of the other side effects I've been dealing with is neuropathy. That's where your fingers and your toes um, are numb and tingle. Uh, in my case, my fingers and my toes hurt too. So my, and my toes, I have to exercise them. They just get so stiff. It feels like they're frozen and uh, they hurt, they ache. They say that it should go away. Uh, it can take several months after they take you off oxaliplatin before that goes away. But, um, so I've maybe got another month or two before that should subside. I'm trying to uh, get back into playing guitar and do some recording. And uh, so my fingers are really out of shape right now and with the neuropathy it makes it more difficult to play. But I am doing my best to try and, and toughen up my fingers so I can play guitar and, and it will sound pretty good without buzzing and strings and things like that. But it's really tough for me to, to play guitar, especially a 12 string. You can see the guitars behind me, um, several of them anyway. And so I've been, you know, practicing my music, I write music, and I hope to be putting it out. I don't know how I can post them online, maybe Amazon, I don't know about iTunes or something like that, but someplace where I can post it where people can download it. And um, so uh, you might be looking for that in this summer. There's two songs that are in the can already that I recorded a long time ago, but I don't want to put them out. Uh, I want to put them all out at the same time. So anyway, just be patient and I'll have those two. But they were recorded in a, in a studio in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, a friend of mine ran. So it, it turned out really well. And that was quite a few years back, but they're, they're still good songs and I just want to share my music to people. I have a lot of different styles of music that I've done and I've played in different bands. Um, and you know, then some concerts and played at conventions and youth events, singles events, things like that. So I've I've done a a little bit of music in my life, but uh, that kind of got me into the video world too, where I started doing running sound for other people, and then uh, at different events we needed a cameraman, so I would run camera, and next thing you know, I'm an audiovisual technician. I'm setting up projectors and TVs and all kinds of different equipment all the way up to 3D projection systems for ExxonMobil where everything's like in the middle of the room floating and you can see everything they're doing. I mean there's a lot of different things I've been able to do and I really have enjoyed. I can't do all those things anymore because I can't lift heavy equipment. One of my restrictions is that I cannot leave the ground. Um, I'm not supposed to uh, lift um, heavy items. I don't work out with heavy weights. I do work out with weights on my chest. I do bench presses and curls and things in my arms. But I don't use weights when I'm exercising my legs. I simply will do squats without any extra weight, just my body weight. And I do um, walking and things like that. And that's about all I can do with my legs. The reason is because my, um, my pelvic bone um, had the radiation treatment on it and it's weakened my bones, my pelvic bone especially. And it, it would be very easy for me to fracture my pelvic bone. And in fact, my pelvic, both, both my hips have been aching. And, um, and I've been walking like an old man. I mean, I just really feel like sometimes like they're just getting from my bedroom to the kitchen. I felt like I was 90 years old trying to get there. It was like terrible um, for a while. And I, that's not so bad now. But for a little while, I was really having a problem um, with aching legs and feet and things like that. But um, I have restrictions on things I can and cannot do. And um, I'm dealing with it. You know, it's okay. I'll, I'll make it through. But I am feeling a little better now. My feet still hurt, but I'm not walking so bad, but I was having some back problems. All of that combined made me feel like an old man. And I'm not that old yet, but um, I really was walking like a 90 year old, really, seriously. I've done some video work 
and I shot a video for Nippon TV for a TV show and I shooting a spelling bee and I'm not doing very much work right now maybe you know one or two things a month one or two days a month and that's it and so it's really sad that I can't work uh, an awful lot I'm enjoying life a little better but I just can't work a lot and then even when I do people don't seem to want to hire a cancer patient so many times I have to turn them down because I just can't do the work they're asking and then other times uh, they turn me down so um, knowing what I'm going through and stuff for those of you that have been supporting me financially thank you so much some of you have been super generous and 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 others have given small amounts but it still helps every every little bit helps and thank you for the, those of you that were driving me and things I appreciate all of that and thank you for those that have been praying or sending words of encouragement on uh, by email and Facebook and different things like that but I uh, had a lot of a lot of people supporting me a lot of people encouraging me and uh, I don't want to uh, overlook anyone oh I did want to mention one other thing um, concerning my hair I never lost my hair through this treatment and they said that I wouldn't but some people always ask about that uh, however my hair after being on chemo for a while my hair is a little bit thicker on my chin my face so um, I thought well I'm not out running around not working as much so I thought I would just go ahead and try to let it grow and so I decided to try and see if I could actually grow a beard and this is about three weeks worth and my daughter likes it she thinks it's kind of funny to watch it grow and she points out the colors I have here and there and it's kind of fun it's something I think every guy has to do someday in their life if see if they can grow a beard because for a long time I couldn't um, I didn't have as much hair as, as other guys and I just couldn't grow facial hair very much I just had a mustache when I was in my 20s or something but uh, anyway I've been trying to play with it and see if it'll grow and see if it'll look okay I don't know. You can be the judge. <laughs>